Okay, we are gonna put together this little dresser drawer. Okay. And this dresser drawer is cloth. And it's a wood top. That's how I look when it's complete. Okay, this is not hard to put together, you guys. It's actually very easy to put together. You don't need any tools. It comes with all the tools that you need. Okay, but I like to use my little handy dandy power drill just because it's a little bit faster and easier for me. Um, okay, like these are the pieces, you know, you got one two three four five six seven seven pieces and then i put it together in about 30 minutes okay so the first thing we are gonna do is we're gonna you're gonna take part one and we're gonna open this up okay okay you guys so we're gonna take part one this is part one okay these and part two okay and what i like to do is Clean up as you go. You know, let's clean up as you go. I need to be using my tripod for this. This is part two, okay? And if you notice on the sides, okay, they have these little things for the screws. That's what we're going to be putting these, attaching this to. Now, there is a little bag with screws. It says A and B. Now, I'm not sure why they would do this and put both of them in there together, but B are the long ones, which is the ones that we're going to use right now. We're going to use the long screws, not the short ones. We're going to put them to the side. We're going to use those at a later time. So B is the actual long screws. We're going to grab those. There's four of them. Then I'm going to turn it around. Make sure that's tight. And there we go. We got that tight. So what we did was took this long piece. We took this this screw and screwed it in to this base part to these two sides. Okay, the next part we're going to do is part four. We're going to open up part four, okay? And part four, what we're going to do is it is going to be the shelves, okay? So you see this hole, this first hole? We're not going to use that hole. That hole is actually going to be for something else. It's actually going to be used for this, which is going to be the back piece, okay? So we're actually going to do the second hole, okay? The second hole is where we're going to put this okay piece four and what we do with piece four is we are going to squeeze squeeze them together squeeze the two part together and stick it in the hole so that way we can make a shelf like this okay you see that but it's actually going to go right there so that's going to be the next part okay and there's three of them so one we got one, two, three, okay? The first one, we're gonna skip that one. We're just gonna go one, two, three. And I'll show you when that's done. Okay, so you see how I got that in that hole? Okay, there's a hole right there. And there's actually another hole right there. Okay, to get that in there, you have to, you have to squeeze these together I'm trying to hold the camera and do it at the same time and it's kind of hard for me to do let's see if i can okay see how that looks 
okay and when i say squeeze together i mean take this piece and this piece and bring them close together so it can um be able to fit inside when i say squeeze together that's what i mean like this bring them close together just squeeze it just a tad bit only a little bit okay you guys this is where we're going to take that white board okay we want to flip it on the side that has the screw pieces and we want to turn this upside down okay because if you notice this part was on top we want to flip it upside down we want to align each piece okay and this is where we're going to take that bag that had those other screws in it that had a and b we're going to take these okay and that's where we're going to screw these in I can get it in there. No, let's try this one. Okay. Just scoot that over so it my gosh. My hands, you guys. A little carbon. On all that cardboard. Okay. And then, if I can find my little screw, take the little screw, screw that on, and keep going till it's tight. Then lift it, put it back, turn. doing that until it's done okay the next part we have is part d okay we are going to take part d and we're going to screw those on to the bottom of these okay part d is the screws at the bottom this is the actual bottom okay the bottom Okay, just like that. Screw that on and let's get the rest of those done. Okay, guys, here's the next part. The next part is the actual drawers. We're almost done here. Okay, so we're gonna open this up. Okay, then once we open it up, we're gonna get the little bottom base. We're gonna stick that in, push that down. Very simple, okay. Okay, you guys, this is the final step, okay? This is where we're gonna take the handles, okay? Now, the handles, you see there's like two little holes. They go like this. But what we're gonna have to do is unscrew these little screws, okay? Take the screw, we're gonna stick the screw inside of there, and we're gonna put this right here and twist it and screw it now if you notice this has two ends you have this end this is the end that we've been using um the most but now instead of that end we're going to use this end we're going to twist that around just like that until it's tight okay and then you have your drawer but you know, me, I can't do all that twisting. All right, make sure it's super tight and look, it's super sturdy. So if you don't want to use this and you want to use like your little drill, you can, which I feel like it's better because then it gets more sturdy. And this is the final step, okay? Like, I just want to show y'all something. Like, I hope my thing can stand. Like, look how easy this is. First of all, like... That's just so much easier than... Ladies, if you don't got one of these, you can get one. Okay, let's... Let's stick that. Poke this in there. Poke this in here. 
okay. Then we're gonna put this on top and start screwing it with your fingers just so you can guide it in from the top and from the bottom. Then once you got it like mostly screwed in, then that's when And that's when you're gonna do that. See how sturdy that is? Nice and sturdy. Okay, you guys, I purchased two of these and this is the final result. Okay. I just want her stuff to be nice and organized. Now it's not as big as a regular dresser. It's just pretty much like a you know like a small one and i'll give you an example this is you know normal regular size dresser which i actually bought this to replace it but because she has a habit of unscrewing these like i don't know what it is she just unscrews these so aggravating so i'm not sure what i'm going to do yet if i'm going to throw this away or still use it somehow but i actually bought it to replace it that's why I purchased it. But this is to kind of show you the difference of the size of the actual drawer. Okay. Like it's just small. It's not as big, you know. But if you buy two of them, you can easily fit everything that you need that's in one of those, one of the big dressers. You know, they're just smaller, but you can keep stuff a little bit more organized that way. And it takes up, it seems like it takes up less space or just about the same, um, just about the same space. But I feel like it's easier to organize. <coughs> and check out this little. I'm trying to get her to keep her room clean and organized. I got this chart that I got from Amazon that I absolutely love. But I hope this video was helpful. I'm like a visual person. I'm a visual person. And so it helps me to be able to watch people when they're doing things. So that's why I like to do these videos. Um... Even if I have the instructions, it's just easier for me to see the piece and just know where it goes to look at it. So maybe the next time when I build something, I'll actually set up my tripod and um, it'll be easier because it'll be zoomed out rather than me trying to hold the camera. Because I look a mess. My daughter is sleeping. Look, she's knocked out. She's a little napper. Next, we got to tackle the rest of these clothes on this bed. You know, and next on the list is tackling this, this right here, this little situation. I have to go through these and organize it, but we got the closet together, which she just has entirely too much clothes. You know, she has so many clothes that's not going to fit in there. I don't know <laughs> what I'm going to do. Like, I bought, I don't know what I'm going to do, how the rest of the stuff's going to fit, but, yeah, I just, yeah. Well, you guys have a blessed day. Thank you for watching this video, and I will catch you on the next video.